Yo, what up YouTubers and anyone that's still tuning into my channel to watch my reviews. It's Casual706 here back with another Transformers unboxing slash review. Today's review is on Transformers G1 Remake Autobot Tailgate. Now taking a quick look at the packaging, super nostalgic packaging. I was excited to see all of these guys when I first went into Walmart. I was actually the guy that got to slip the box on it. I've had these toys for a couple of months now. I just haven't had time to open them up. A super recommended pickup for any G1 Transformer fan. It was real fun to walk into Walmart and see these, uh, see these packages. It's super nostalgic. It just takes me back to when I was like a five or six year old kid walking into KB's or Toys R Us and actually seeing these toys. So, I'm real happy to pick it up. All right, we swing around to the back of the package here. We got a little stack card like we used to have with uh, the old G1 Transformers there. I'm not actually gonna read this. You guys can pause it or you can actually Google it if you actually wanna read it and find out what's up with that. Uh, right there on the left side of the package, it says it's gonna pay, take about four steps to change him from his robot to car mode and vice versa. And up here, we got a more cool artwork from G1 packaging. I believe that was on the back of the Optimus Prime G1 package, if I remember right. So, with all that said, we're going to go ahead and bust this open and get to the good part. Now, here he is, Tailgate. Tailgate has a real nice face sculpt there, blue eyes, chrome face. Nice stickers on them, all about symbol right there at the waist, chrome stickers on the chest. Nice chrome detailing on the legs. Uh, chrome at the wheels, almost kind of a little rim type feel to it the uh, wheels are actually plastic with this you're not going to get rubber the uh, g1 toy had plastic too so can't really complain about that on the back here we got a little heat stamp thing like we used to have with the the older transformer figures these don't actually work anymore i don't believe yeah you can kind of catch a faint autobot symbol through it here now articulation with him be able to get the arms all the way around Head has no rotation, no waist swivel, no knee joints, no hip swivel, uh, no thigh swivel, no elbows, no hand articulation, nothing. <laughs> Back in the day, it was just us, these toys, and our imaginations. So, <laughs> but we loved them when they were out, I tell you. Now, as I mentioned, I do have the G1 tailgate. So we're gonna put them side by side here. Uh, my G1 tailgate is obviously starting to yellow a bit. I guess that's what 30 plus years will do to you. I guess you could say the new one is better. It's got blue eyes. I don't remember if if this toy actually had blue eyes when it when it initially came out. It doesn't look like it's scratched or worn or anything, so I would say that it probably just had a straight chrome face back in the days. So but you see they went with exactly the same thing. It is the exact same mold. I can't see anything anything different with it other than the eyes being blue on the new one so we'll flip it to the sides here here they are side by side here they are on the backs they kept the little heat thing going on in the same spot there same mold the front looks the same even yep so there we go. We're going to transform both of these guys, compare them side by side, and close my review out. Alright, so we got the G1 in the car mode. To change this into a car, all you do is push these arms in. Uh, make sure they're right to the side of the, the toy. Then flip the legs over here onto the back. And there you go. You get them both in their car modes. There they are side by side. The wheels look to be the same size. All the molding looks to be the exact same with the figure. The back looks the same. The sides look the same. Here's the back. Here's the front. And there's the top again. So there's a comparison with those guys. And these toys are so simplistic, there's not really going to be much more to say about it. So I guess that would conclude my unboxing slash review for Transformers G1 Remake of Tailgate. And if you guys like the video, be sure to click the like button. Also, please leave me a comment. 
Yeah, it's more motivational to do these videos when people are leaving you comments. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any Transformer unboxings or cool videos in the very near future. And with all that said, I appreciate the view again, guys. Casual 706, out.